The Draconians aren't bad. The story has just gotten mixed up. Now, before you come on here preaching about Christianity to other people, please explain to us why the Crusaders were going around taking people out the game just for different beliefs. Also explain to people why other tribes who have their own beliefs and never heard of Jesus cannot make it into the kingdom of heaven because they haven't accepted a person that they never heard of. To understand the good that our serpent ancestors have done for us, we have to revisit Genesis. After Eve ate from the tree of knowledge, God put enmity between her and the serpent, but not the type that you think. God said that Eve would crack or overwhelm the head of the serpent, and the serpent would crack or overwhelm her hind part or the base of her spine. This is literally an ancient yogic practice of awakening the energy at the base of our spine and bringing it up to our pineal gland where we attune our energy center so we can manifest and bring down the God energy. If you live in America, chances are you've seen this enmity, this symbol associated with the medical system, no matter what medical branch you go to in America. This staff was actually first seen held by the comedic God of wisdom, the Huti or Thoth. If we pay attention and look to other cultures and traditions around the world, we find that the serpent is actually the base, the root of knowledge and wisdom. They taught us the arts of civilization, such as uh, agriculture, mathematics, all of the essential things that we need to put in place civilization as we know it today. In China, this will be Nuwa and Fusi. You can read what they're responsible for. We find them in Olmec culture. Pay close attention to this handbag. Let me do the math for you guys. So the Hebrews took their creation myth from the Sumerians, an older culture that dwelt in the land of Ur, or what we know today as Iraq. They call it Urk, right? And now Noah's story uh, of the flood and him saving all the animals and uh, uh, surviving with his family, that Noah is Ziosudra in the uh, Sumerian culture. If we compare the story of Atrasis, written by the Akkadians who came after the Sumerians, to the Hebrew uh, Genesis story, we find parallels, right? Like this God called Enki, he created man from clay and the uh, uh, flesh and blood of Nintu, and they created a ghost in the image of the gods. If you read Genesis, you will see that it particularly said that man was created from clay, just as it is said in the Yoruba tradition in Africa, the god Obatala who created us from clay. It also says we were made in the phantom, right? Like a ghost, the image, the illusion of God. True nature of these Anunnaki beings, they were fish or serpent-like. Water spirits, mermaids, and serpents are very common. 